not for ourselves, but this time around for our furry friends, our kitty cats. And we have three. This one is Sunrise. This is Bobby. And Charlie's down there, just running around there. <laughs> Anyhow, my friend Jessica made a doggy treat for her doggy Sophie, and I thought it was a great idea if I looked up a recipe and made treats for my kitties. And they love it, especially our kitty Charlie on the floor. So stay tuned and you'll see how to make these delicious kitty cat treats, which look like this. And they're like tuna crackers. You'll only need four ingredients to make this delicious kitty cat treat. You'll need a cup of cornmeal, as well as a cup of all-purpose white flour, a third cup of water, and last but not least, you'll also need a five or six ounce undrained tuna can. And let's go ahead and begin mixing, but before we do so, let's go ahead and preheat our oven to 350 degrees. So you're just gonna go ahead and place the tuna in a large bowl. Then add your one cup of cornmeal. Then add a cup of flour, all-purpose white flour. And then a third cup of water. And you're just gonna mix everything together. First, you're gonna start out with mixing everything together with the spoon, and then you're gonna use your hands to mix everything together because the tuna needs to get really separated and mixed in with everything else. So, I'm adding more water, and then I'm just gonna use my hands and clump everything together. So, you're ready to work with the dough. I just grabbed a bit of it and I placed it down and I'm just going to roll it a little bit and I'm just getting cookie cutters and I'm going to cut them into random shapes. This is a snowman because it is the holiday so I'm going to put the snowman into a cookie sheet that was pre-greased like that and continue on by making random shapes for my cats. So this is how the kitty treats turned out and I felt like this was perfect and a perfect amount for it so I placed the rest in a resealable Ziploc bag and I'm going to actually freeze this and when I need it I'll just defrost it and roll them out and put, turn them into little shapes. So let's like go this. ahead and bake these for 20 minutes. Alright so the cat treats are ready, it's been 20 minutes. They're not sticky at all so you're just going to want to transfer it on a wire rack for it to cool even more. Come on, kitties! Mm. Ooh. Ooh, they like it! So it's really important to uh, crush up the cookies because uh, cats are smaller and so you want them to, uh, you don't want it to be too big. So it looks like Charlie's liking it. Mm -mm. Oh, and Bob is coming too. They gotta check it out and sniff it and stuff first. Oh, wow, so it's a hit. They love it. Hey guys, I've got Charlie here right now. He just enjoyed some yummy kitty cat treats made by my wife, April. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching and please subscribe. And I'm sure that if you made these treats for your cats, they will love them. Thanks again for watching. Bye. As you can tell, my kitty Charlie is super excited for his future treats. Go ahead and stand here, Charlie, and wait for your treats to get made. <laughs> so Charlie likes to hang out there while I'm cooking. So you'll only need four ingredients to make this delicious kitty cat treat. You'll need a cup of cornmeal. You'll also need a cup of all-purpose white flour, as well as a third cup of water. And last but not least, <gasps> Charlie! <laughs>